Hey guys, it's your girl Ev back with another video. As you can see from the title, we're gonna be doing our Ipsy whoop, Glam Bag X. Um, if that's something you'd be interested in, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload, because you will not know. There's so many people out here in these YouTube streets. But um, yeah, so we're gonna dig into this box. The Glam Bag X has actually been one of my, to me, really exciting lately. Um, I do like it. It's actually the only thing that's kind of keeping me on Ipsy. <laughs> like, if I could just get the Glam Bag X, I, I would just get the Glam Bag X. <laughs> like, um, you know, pay the $58. It is $58, though. Um, you don't get your Glam Bag. You, I get the Glam Bag Plus, which is $25. When you get the X, it up, you don't get the Glam Bag Plus, you get the X. And it's $58. So it is a chunk of change. And so I gotta see that if it's really worth it. Cause I'm on this, like also on this kind of journey to kind of, you know, I'm gonna be doing less boxes because I'm on a budget kind of journey and a savings journey. So if you'd be interested to follow that, let me know in the comments because it's something that I gotta do, guys. <laughs> And so I'm looking at all these boxes and evaluating really or not, am I really getting what I want out of them? I know why I like subscription boxes. I love, one, I love opening stuff. I love getting things in the mail. I love opening something and not knowing what's in there. But now I'm starting to know what's in there because we get to pick, which I do like being able to pick, but it's almost like there's no surprise anymore. And then um, I also like the affordability of getting particularly like some of the, some makeup and skincare, you know, sent to my home. I mean, you do get a value and for somebody who likes makeup and beauty, it is a, it's nice, it's nice value. I'm like, so you guys, I tried to do my eyebrows. I'm getting better, but <laughs> I'm looking at them now like, girl, what you doing? And then I went for a darker color today and I don't know if it's playing up well here. So anyway, Let's get in the bag. The Glam Bag X this month has been curated by Halsey, and she's, she just, did she have her baby yet? I know she was expecting, but there she is looking all pretty. I'm actually not as familiar with her, to be honest with you. But she's also on the cover of, uh, I think, um, Amour or Cosmo or something. I just saw her on the cover of one of my magazines that just came in the mail. But let's get in here. This will tell us about the things that we, that I got. Now I will say when I was picking, uh, pretty much all the choices, I was like, happy with, I was overall happy with them, except for the one, um, the last choice. I didn't feel like I had enough options, but overall I was happy with the choices. All right, so let's get in here. The first thing I'm picking up, okay, is the Watermelon Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Clay Pore Type Facial. And I really do like Glow Recipe products. I think that I must have picked up. I think I did. And um, I have their, I love their retinol, avocado retinol sleeping mask. I use that at least twice a week. And this is a, a love of facial. It comes with this scooper. Now the weird thing about the scooper is it doesn't, where am I gonna put this at? <laughs> I'm not gonna keep up with this this scooper. It needed to be like attached some kind of way because I'm not keeping up with this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But this is it. A little. This is what it looks like. Mm, I love a mask, guys. It's, uh oh, smells good. My neighbor's actually moving, and um. My dog gets anxious, but dang, this smells really good. Like it smells like strawberries, but it smells like strawberries with like whipped cream or marshmallows. I don't know how to explain it, but it smells really good. <laughs> so this retails for, let's see if I see it in here. And then I saw some people like, I really would have been wanting to try that talk to primer the way people talk about it all the time, but it wasn't like one of the things that I had a choice from and it wasn't one of the things they picked for me. I mean, so there's that. 
Oh, Glow Recipe. It is $46. Sorry about all the noise, guys. It's in the middle of the day and everything's coming down here. So one of the things I think most people got, I think most of us got, is the Fenty Beauty Mascara. Now, I've gotten this mascara before in the BoxyCharm. It's not one of my favorites. It's beautiful packaging. I think the packaging is beautiful. It's an okay, oh, wrong way, sorry guys. <laughs> See that? It's okay. I mean, what I learned from using this, I can open it because I'm actually getting to the end of the mascara that I have. So the wand is like this, and it's like flat, but round. And I find that what I have to do with it is I have to do both. I have to go in, do some of it where I'm on the edge, to get the outside and then when I want to do some of it with the flat you just have to work with it but I, I it's it's not like a fan it's not fantastic you know it's not it's not fantastic <laughs> but it's a decent okay mascara but you I think it takes time like it takes several passes it takes time all right that retails for in my opinion it takes more time than I usually have and $24 for that uh, then they picked this for me then you can never tell what something's gonna look like like you look at it and you think I, I don't know do you have a hard time determining size when you see photos of things and you're like well what's this gonna look like I really do not like my eyebrows today <laughs> Doing really good with them though guys and today they did not come out right but this is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be but this is the packaging this is the I don't really know how to say it that's what Arthur 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 <laughs> it's A-T-H-R Arthur I'm thinking that's like a fancy way of saying Arthur all right let's see unless it's A-T-H-R Arthur Arthur I think it's Arthur but it's not Arthur Atha. Atha Beauty. And this palette retails for $58. $58? So this palette is about as much as that, as the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Norvina palette. This palette is as much as. <sighs> I'm trying to think. This is an expensive palette. Who the heck is Arthur? <laughs> oh, my, my, my. All right, let's get in here and see what this is. No. No. No, this power is not $58. It doesn't even got a mirror. Wait, is there a mirror underneath here? Like, it's not, it's not, like, like, is there a mirror underneath this cardboard? There's no mirror. And this is it. I mean, it's pretty. But $58, y'all. I mean, I mean, it, I appreciate it's a new launch. Let's, let me not judge it here. But $58, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, for 12 shadows, $58. Now they're beautiful, beautiful shadows and right up my alley in terms of the color story. Cause when I saw this, I thought, oh, this is pretty. I'm gonna want this. These don't even got names. This $58 palette, but no names. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't get over the fifty-eight dollars, but okay, they swatching nice though. They are swatching nice. They ain't swatching like remarkable though, but they're they look pretty. Look at that one. That one looks really pretty. Whew. Ciao. Mm -mm -mm. Fifty-eight dollars. I mean, they're not super creamy. They're not bad, but they're not like butter some of them this one was kind of swatch felt nice but they're, they're not like like i said they're not like butter <laughs> Atta. what does this say on the inside here it says something i need to turn the light on so i can actually see there's like some serious writing oh uh, i think it's just the ingredients i just can't believe there's no mirror wait like i'm like i keep on wanting to do this because i'm like this must be a cover because there's no way that this thing come in a mirror. And it's in cardboard. This is cardboard. And now I can't shut it. Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh-uh, I had to shift it. 
I had to shift it, y'all. This is, is a little raised to it. And it's a little, uh, it's like, a, it's almost like a bump. There's like a little bump. It's a little raised, but it's cardboard. So this cardboard, wow. I mean, it's pretty though. It's pretty. I'm, I love the color story. I love the color story. It's a great color story. I um, think I'm gonna do some beautiful looks and I may really like this. I'm just feeling like a little shocked by the by the sticker, by the sticker price. It's a little shocking for me. All right, next is um, the Elemis Skin Buff. So when I went, I went into my box and I went into my choices. I'm sorry, they're like doing a lot outside. <laughs> when I went into my box, went to make my choices, there was an option for me to get a Charlotte Tilbury um, lip liner, but the lip liner color I was concerned was going to be too light, like a little too nude for me. I've been wanting to try something from Charlotte Tilbury, but then I saw they had this, and I love Elemis products, and this was a skin buff, and I love the fact that this was a skin buff. So I went into this box thinking like, oh, I'm going to use this box to do my whole body. <laughs> so I have my eye, I have my eyeshadow, I got my face mask and then I got the skin buff. I love when I take a shower guys and I put a scrub on my body. I even love how that feels for myself and if I know I'm gonna go and have a little company I always make sure I like exfoliate. <laughs> so that got that and I'm excited about that and that is exfoliate. Exfoliate is actually a, a thing. <laughs> So like I guess these are the housey picks. So the housey pick was the Atha. And maybe that's what I just don't know because you know people with money, this ain't nothing for them, this little palette for $58. <laughs> you know? Like they I mean they buy stuff, they buy like Tom Ford Quads for $95. So if you put it in that range and if it's like considered a luxury, I guess this is actually really a good price. So this price is like relative, it's relative, but it's also relative to your pockets, right? So anyway, I'm going to let that go. But I just wanted to, you know, note that, that, you know, you know, Superstar recommends that it's, you know, yeah, the memes. <laughs> There's a cute little uh, Q&A in the back. I cannot find this Elemis Skin Buff. I will put the price up there because I don't see it. And I don't want, I want to keep this moving. Another thing we got here is I purchased, another thing I picked was a fragrance. Oh no, this isn't the fragrance. Is this the fragrance? What is this? No, this is another thing they picked for me. This box is pretty. Pretty little box. This is called Herbivore Emerald. And this was, um, like I said, this is one of the Halsey picks. Herbivore Botanicals, forget what you heard, using a face oil, especially this one from Herbivore, on your on your combo or oily skin. I have very oily skin, so that makes me feel good that they actually paid attention to that, um, is a total yes. The Clarifying Formula uses a blend of blue tansy, kiku oil, and jojoba oil to balance oil production and soothe redness without drying you out. How's your sip? I'm all about face oils. And I love this one when I feel some breakouts coming on. And I actually have, I have like a one that's actually trying to poke out on my nose. I have one here. So I'm really happy to hear that's why she uses it. And um, yeah, I'm glad you love that. There's no smell, which you know, something, you know, some, a lot of time people for face, when you have sensitive skin too, you don't want as much products in there. Yeah, there's no smell, but it's face oil. I'm excited to try that. Another thing I picked, this was the one out of the group of thing picks that I had that I really wasn't as thrilled with my picks, but I picked the false, these, these press-on nails. Sometimes I will do press-on nails. Um, yeah, I can even do my nails right now. <laughs> but I will do them sometime, a lot of times, actually. I've done, I've, I, I do do them. And my sister actually makes them. So that's why I went on to pick those. So see guys, I got my face. I got my eyes, I got my skin, I got my nails, and then this other thing I got that I was actually excited that they offered um, was a fragrance. I 
I'm actually, you know, I'm to the point where I have so much eyeshadow. I love eyeshadow palettes. It's like my weakness, but it's to the point now I'm like, Ebony, you really don't need any more. And the only reason why now I've found myself buying them is because when I get them in subscription boxes and I love that I got a new palette that's on the scene and this X, I feel like that really makes the X nice. I am only buying them if they're special. Like if they, but the problem is I do find something special almost every month. <laughs> but I'm working on that. So when I saw that I could get fragrance, I'm getting back in the fragrances. I don't know about you. I'm 48 years old. I was I'm a single mom. When I became a when I became a mom, I kind of lost a lot of the things that I used to love to do and get for me when I was not a mom, right? And fragrances was one of those things. I love to smell good and I love to purchase smell goods. And so it got to the point where mostly you will just see me once in a while get some I would get Bath and Body Works, you know, with the sprays. But those really don't stay on you. And so I've been going back into fragrances and building back up having a fragrance collection. And um, so when I saw this, I'm like, I'm gonna get a fragrance. Now I don't know if this is any good. I hope it is, because you know, you're buying this blind and it's not it's not like an expensive thing. It's called Defem Defem Define Me, Define Me. Define Me Fragrance. Crystal infused natural perfume mist in kahana aquamarine it retails for forty dollars this coconut pink pepper hibiscus orchid and aquamarine aquamarine blend smells like vacay in a bottle so this is like a summer scent i don't want to spray on me because i have something on mm. Mm. <laughs> Let me try again. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't know. This kind of smells like, I don't know, like an air freshener, like a car air freshener. <laughs> I can definitely hit the pepper and smell the pepper. Yeah. Maybe I gotta shake it up. It's, it's, it smells though, you can smell it. It don't smell bad. It don't smell bad. It just smells like a car. It smells like a car. Okay, and then we have the last thing in my box, which I guess is like my surprise item or something, I think, I don't think I picked this, or did I pick this? I don't think I picked this, I don't know. Light, light lock powder light lock powder oh yeah 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 is this it about oh this is her brand this is oh about face this is housie's brand brand can't get it open and what is this hmm Okay, so this is a highlighter. It looks, looks nice. Light lock powder in smoother stars on fire. The secret of Housie's next level glow, you're looking at it, infused with natural fine and loose smooth pigments. This gives the skin a luminous glass like finish. Shear it out with fingers or pack it on with a brush to customize your level of shine. Okay, so I don't really need anything on because I'm already got stuff on, but. Yeah, so it's a little shine. I'm put some, oh, I'm gonna put some up here because I don't really think I like this eye look actually now that I'm looking at it this way. I'm gonna put some of this on the, or the highlight on my brow. Okay, I can see that, that's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and that retails for $30. I think that's nice. I like it. So, okay, the smell is, it's its okay. I'm getting used to it. It's like almost like a unisex smell. Maybe that's what it is. It's not like me. I'm like a flirty, 
feminine, sweet, you know, not too heavy. And this is more sound smells like a lucky like unisex. Like I feel like um a guy could really, I feel like a guy could get away with a lot of that for sure. So maybe that's what it is. And that's just it smells good though. As as I'm sitting here, it does smell good. So overall, I think this is great. I think this is a great box. Um, I think it's I think it's worth sixty dollars actually, very much so. Um, it surpasses the cost. I'll put the the price up here on the screen. Oh, here are the names. <laughs> yeah, here are the names. I'm not gonna I don't I'm not gonna keep it. So I'm not gonna keep that. But yeah, so that's it. I mean, I, I love these things. I mean, I'm glad I didn't pay fifty eight dollars. <laughs> I got my, if you think about it, my box was $58 and that was the cost of this palette. I can't complain. I can't complain. I really like it. I think this is great. Um, yeah, I like the box. All right, guys. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It'll help me out. I hope you can hear. I hope I wasn't talking too low. I struggle with that because I do have a soft voice, but I hope every, you can hear, my, hear me well. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye.